Hello Planeswalkers, Andrew here, bringing you a unique video for this time slot, and I'm going to get into why that is in a second here. So for this video, Tyler and I are going to be opening M21 packs. Now, by the time this video comes out, it's going to be a little bit late, because the set came out very early July. Hi, yes, hi. Um, and this video is going to come out very late July. Uh, this dog wants to come up here. This is my dog, Gelato. He's a rat terrier. And my friend. So, what happened was, originally we were going to have um, our friend Aaron from Hitmon Champion, also known as Hitmon Champion, rather. Um, he was going to collabor collaborate with us on a deck tech, um, much like with the Kokusho deck, deck tech. Um, by the time this video comes out, it'll be well known that we're doing, um, we're doing the Praetors from Frexia. Hi dog. You want down? You want down? There you go. Um, and I think we'll have three, 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 I think three of them out by the time this video comes out. Um, Aaron is meant to be Erebrask and that has not changed. He still will be, but, uh, the time frame had to change because, uh, some stuff came up on his end, and we just decided to push it in August. Not a big deal. We'll just get it out then. Um, so, I had to come up with an idea in the meantime. And Tyler and I, at least during quarantine, have been splitting boxes of our new set. We did this with uh, Ikoria, and we did this with Theros. I don't, there wasn't a quarantine during Theros, so we just wanted to split a box. I think pretty sure I went to a Theros pre-release. Um, but yeah. So, thankfully, he and I work at the same place, and I live three minutes away from our workplace. And he was working today, I'm not. So when the box showed up, because I ordered it, and he already paid me for his half, it showed up today, conveniently, while he was at work. So I just drove over there, gave him his half of the box. And so he has that, and he's gonna go home and in about four hours after time of recording, about that, four, four and a half hours, um, he'll be home. We're going to get on Spell Table, um, which is a cool um, software, a cool website that you can use to play Tabletop Commander um, over the internet. It's, what, it's becoming a lot more popular now that everyone has to stay indoors. Um, but we'll, that's also going to be these way that we play commander going forward with uh, guests, at least with guests that we can't get in the same room with us. After the pandemic dies down, we'll get some friends that uh, we know locally to come play with us in the same room, but until it is safe to do so, all of our commander coliseums from this point on will be done on spell table. Um, I think the first two were done on cockatrice. That, that is no more. This is a more sophisticated way to do it. Not that, not dunking on Cockatrice, I love Cockatrice. Very, very good software. But yeah, Spell Table, we're going to be using it not for its intended purpose, we're going to be using it to open packs, but it's a nice and neat way for you to see both of our cameras at the same time, and it's a good way to record both of our voices at the same time. Um, so it's very convenient, and that's what this little intro segment's going to cut to. I just wanted to get this little bit of housekeeping out of the way before we cut to that, since this is going in on a Wednesday, which is usually a solo slot. It's usually just one of us, not both of us. So that's a little bit of an explanation as to why it's different from what it should be. And I know that my last pack opening, my first pack opening was done on a Monday, which is like our extraneous, usually arena gameplay, sometimes other stuff, um, kind of day. But that was two collector's boosters. This is a collective 46 packs. Okay, so I have, I have 28 of those packs. You can see that half of the box has been delivered to Tyler already. So he has 18, I have 18, and then I also have Fat Pack. So I'll be open. We'll be opening, probably taking turns. We'll probably figure that. We'll figure that out when we get to it. 
most likely taking turns opening packs. Once we're both out of the box packs, I'll rip into this and I'll open these packs. Um, also, there were supposed to be four collector's boosters. I dropped more money on this set than I probably should have, by the way. Um, <laughs> play Magic responsibly. Do not spend $200 on a set um, like I do. But uh, I got four collector's boosters and the last one of those arrived today like several hours before the box and fat pack arrived so i was expecting amazon told me that the box and fat pack wouldn't be here until the 9th it is currently the 6th so i thought i don't want to wait to crack open these collector's boosters so yes i got impatient i cracked them open i got some good stuff and i'm gonna throw up on screen here um photos of what I got out of those packs because I've already filed them into my bulk boxes and into my decks and into my trade binder and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I got some good stuff out of those uh, booster, uh, out of those collector's boosters. English is hard. So with that out of the way, we are going to transition to the pack opening. Hello, Planeswalkers. It's Andrew Hello. and Tyler. Ignore what my name says up there. <laughs> uh, I already did an intro to this, so y'all should know what's going on. We have a crap load of M20. Or sorry, I... M21. M20? <laughs> that would be weird. Dude, I, hope, I hope I get a chant. Well, I guess I hope I get a chant that is still relevant in this set, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it is. So this is my half of the box. Do and I have wanna... this one pack right here. Do we... And I'm going to stretch this over the next half hour. <laughs> <laughs> Do we just want to um, go back and forth? One pack, one pack? Uh, no, I think we can go... Because I don't think we need to go over every single card. I got this pack open. Um, we can just kind of lay down what we're getting. Talk about what we're opening. Yeah. Alright, so... I know you would... So, it looks like they've reversed... The order yeah i don't know if i like that because i like the mystery but i'll live with it uh we got a night token got a nice forest i like that reprinted oh, scavenging news uh my rare for this pack is speaker of the heavens sweet uh one one for a single white uh human cleric he's got vigilance and lifelink so one one with vigilance and lifelink for a single one is already kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, but he's got tap, create a four four white angel creature token with flying. Activate this ability only if you have at least seven life more than your starting life total, and only any time you can cast sorcery. I don't. I still don't know how I feel about it. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my rares over here. I was only Go. half paying attention to what it did, but that's fine. Hey, I got a card with uh, one of the cool frames. I got one of Basri's cards. Uh, oh, yeah. Basri's Solidarity. I pulled that one out in, of uh, one of my collector's packs. Yeah, one in a white. Put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control. Yeah, that was my Lena deck, for sure. That's that's going in uh, that's going in Celestia. Oh, yeah. Mind Rot, that's a good one to always see. Ah, uh, my token was n uh, nothing. That's awesome. <laughs> I kind of, you know, this Gourmand has kind of been growing on me. Four black black for a 5-5 five, five flying trample demon. We all know how I feel about six mana demons. If they don't come with flying and trample, I don't mess with them. Sacrifice a creature in addition to casting this spell. Uh, but when he enters the battlefield, each opponent also sacrifices a creature. Oh, nice. I, I like it. You know, that's not Make bad. Sure. Italian... Oh, that's a... Wait, is that an ETB? Yes. Ooh, that should go in Yarok. Off the Denial. That's Turret Ogre. Okay, I think Yo, I got Ranger's the white stuff. I actually think I need Ranger's Guile for the uh, Popper Cube. I'm just gonna flip these backwards. Finishing blue. Goblin Wizardry I hate because oh. these goblins are all nose and this one, I, I, I hate them. <laughs> the artwork visionary. the artwork on finishing blow 
looks like something out of like Japan. That looks like specifically out of um, Neo. Neo has uh, those big horned yokai that are Japanese demons. We got the goodest boy. Oh, nice. Ooh, this is this is one that you you're probably gonna be interested in, the spine shark, spine uh, megalodon. Yes. Spine, but he is a common, and we got a foil angelic ascension. Alpine Watchdog. Yeah, you'll probably pull your own Spine Megalodon. Yeah, I want him for, uh, for a Luna. Dub. If I get, Rebirth. If I get a card called Step, they both need to go in the same deck. Uh, uh, the biggest joke I always see with it is Dub versus Sub. Ah. Uh, Village Rights. This is bonkers. This is, this is what Power Creep is. What does it do? Single black for an instant. As an additional cost to cast this spell, sacrifice a creature, draw two cards. Alter's Reap is this exact same card. Instant, same extra cost, same thing, draw two cards, but it's one in a black. So it's just strictly better. It is strictly better in every sense of the word. Who okay, so forgotten. So Forgotten Sentinel. Um the guy that did the artwork, I have I found him on Twitter. I don't know if I'm following him, but I saw what he did to get So he had like a little toy of a robot that he set up in front of some office supplies to get this pose. Oh yeah? It was super, super cute. Up top, that's a good one. Uh this this card art, Waker of Waves, give triggers my philosophobia. I need a copy of that whale so bad. It, it's so it's so frightening. I don't like it. Chandra's magma. Bulltown. Elemental dog. Gnarled sage. Ooh. So I got a swamp. That's just standard land. And then I got Tefiri's Ageless Insight. Are you? Choking me right now? That's my second one because I got one out of my uh, collector booster. My token for us. We got the Idol of Endurance. Ooh. So yeah. All... Far, all of my rares have been white. <laughs> how... Hey, Andrew, how do you feel about vampires? Uh, they sparkle. How do you feel about zombies? Uh, they die and come back. How do you feel about a zombie vampire? That's weird. So, Silver Smoke Ghoul, two and a black for a 3 1. Zombie Vampire. At the beginning of your end step, if you gain three or more life this turn, return him from your graveyard to the battlefield attack. And for one in a black, it sacrifice him, draw a card. Neat. Sense of Stitcher. Enthralling Hold. Oh yeah, what I was gonna say about um, because I opened some collectors boosters earlier. I went over Trouble that in the now. intro. Y'all should have seen that in the um, intro to the video. I would have put photos up of what I pulled there. Yeah, homeboy pulled an alternate art or a borderless Ugin. Yeah, um, if it was foil, it would be ninety bucks, but it's still thirty, which is I got the I got the really good boy. Nice. Like dino. Short sword. Magma. That card art looks a lot nicer than the uh, effect. Because it's just plus one, plus one. That's... Yeah, that's a reprint. I think it was from Tominaria. Normal Cultivate. Very nice. Dire Fleet Warmonger. Oh, hey, neat. My uh, token for this pack is also not. Nice. <laughs> Good stuff. Furious Rise. That's a reprint. Ooh. Yo, Mace Mine Tome. So, two mana artifact. Tap it to put a page counter on it and scry one. Two and tap it to put a page counter on it to draw a card. And if there's four or more page counters on it, exile it if you do draw or gain four life. Oh, nice. Um, my rare in this pack was Stormwing Entity. Nice. Cost two and a. Cost two and a blue, less to cast. If you cast an instant or sorcery this turn, it has flying and it has prowess. Um, and when it enters, scry two. This might go in Yarok. Rambunctious might. 
Ooh, another doggo. I also got a foil opt. Nice. I got a radiant fountain. Nice. I got a tranquil cove. Basri's acolyte is pretty cool. We're three packs into my 28. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm irresponsible with my money. You super are. <laughs> Look at this construct. Nice. That's some cool art. That's also some cool art, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> my rare for this pack is Shacklegeist. One in a blue for a 2 2 flyer. He can only block creatures with flying and tap two untapped spirits. I control to tap target creature I don't control. Nice. So far, really not happy with the rares that I pulled. Bad deal. I got Rapidash. Oh, nice. Um, I've been going in reverse, pulling off the top, because I still like to save the rare for last. Another oh. rambunctious mutt? It's an- it's Treebeard. Gnarled Sage. Treebeard? Treebeard? Return to nature. That's some I decent know. reprints in this set. On, print inventory. I'll Tone put one shot. Down. Just- just take, check out this real ass dog. <laughs> it's just a dog. Sanguine Indulgence. There's Protege, Scorching Dragonfire. I'm beginning to think you got the cooler half of this, this box. I mean, we're also only like three packs in. So I got the cat token that the legendary cat lady makes, and it's just, it's really cool. Cool. Ooh, Tormod's, Tormod's Crypt. Z a zero mana artifact. You don't see many of those nowadays. Tormod's Crypt has been reprinted so many times. Ooh, I got two I got two rares in this one. Um we have Sporeweb Weaver. Nice. Which I did pull one of those earlier, uh, an extended art one, which is very nice. And a foil glorious anthem. That's going in Lena. Nice. I got the five color shrine. Whoa, sanctum of all. <laughs> Got sniper, Gaven Gaggle Master. And Gaggle Master. Warrior. Yeah, he's a he's a goose. Goose. Ooh, I got a sapperling token. I need that. Crypt Lurker. Ooh, the planes. Oh, it's so pretty. Man. I sure would love to get some of these cool cards. Ooh, I got a foil. Ooh, fo foil, foil, Basri Solidarity with the, with the frame. Jesus. Okay. Well, I've still got a, I've still got a pile of packs. You have a lot of packs, my dude. I think pack for pack, this is the most cost-efficient way to get packs. You get eighteen, or you get. What, 36 for a hundred dollars? Temple of Epiphany, which I need for a Luna. So there's nice. that. Nice, nice. Life goes surge. on. Ooh. Riddle horn. Life goes on is neat. If a creature died this turn, you gain eight life. Otherwise you just gain four, but it's one mana. Yeah, Excuse it's me. From, uh, it's from Hour of Devastation. This might be good. Oh, single green for pure life gain. No, that card is bad. Is it? That card is bad and you should never play it. <laughs> Thanks. I'm not even joking. Thanks for making me feel bad for wanting to play it. Kitty. I Yeah, I just pulled one of, the, one of those. Forgotten Sentinel. That really does just look like a little action figure, doesn't it? Yeah. That's that's yeah, very cute. Badger's Acolyte. I gotta run a foul. Village Rights. Twin Blade Assassins. Oh, this might this might go in the Mario and Luigi deck. <gasps> what? What'd you get? <laughs> oh, nice. I want him for a Luna. Nice. I think I think the twin blades are going in uh, the Mario and Luigi deck because if a creature died this turn, I draw a card. Hopefully. I got the white shrine. What's my rare? 
Animal Sanctuary. Yo! That's a land. Hey, I got another uh, one of the... I got Liliana Steward. Oh, nice! Uh, and I got the Sabertooth Mauler, who I really, really wanted. Nice. I'm gonna go through my commons and uncommons later and set aside what I need for decks. I don't know how I feel about this Goblin Wizard, uh, Yeah, token. no, that's what I was talking about earlier. The card that makes them, I hate. Ugly. <gasps> What'd you get? Okay, okay. Is it Liliana? I mean, no, but I will say that my token is... So, Her emblem. first off... Ooh, pretty. Second, I got two foils, or not two foils, I got two rares. Ooh. The first one is this spirit rogue, the ghostly pilfer. Oh, I like that and one. The, the foil... Foil? Azusa. Ooh, that's a good one. That is a Look good at one. That. that is very nice. That's that's the better. Az there are two Azusas, right? That's the better There's one. Only one Azusa. Oh, what was the card that I was thinking of? Then that there's two of them, and one's really good and getting reprinted. I don't know. I don't recall ever having that conversation with you. Well, maybe I made it up. Yeah, no, there's one of Zeus. She's got two artworks. It's the saddest card in the set. No, it's a 1-1 one, one for 1 vanilla with no flavor text. <laughs> no flavor text, no abilities. Exactly. Ooh, Demonic Embrace is my rare. I got an angel token. Chant creature gets plus 3, plus 1, has flying, and is a Ooh, demon. double vision. Whenever you, or three red red enchantment, whenever you cast your first instant or sorcery spell each turn, copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. Neat. I got a foil Satessin training. That's a reprint in it. I have yes, Satessin training is from uh, is Ther from um, Theros. Theros beyond death. I have not gotten a single one of the uh, uncommon shrines. I got Garrick's Gorehorn. Does this even have a normal art? Or a normal frame, rather? Yes. Okay. Because I've only pulled, I pulled like three of these and none of the normal frame. Skeleton Archer. Creature type. Skeleton Archer. <laughs> well, it is what it says on the tin. Yeah, I got Land of War Visionary, who's just... Elvis Visionary and Land of War Druids just stapled together. Or Land, Land of War Elves. Land of War Elves, yeah. Wishcorn Crab. I got another Unicorn. I got another Kitty Kitty. Shipwreck Dowser. And I got a Goblin Arsonist. Sanctum of Stone Fangs. Ooh, it's the Black Shrine. The Black one is one of the good ones. Talarian Kraken. Oh, it's cute! It's got a yeah. big, big ol' eye. So we got a fancy island and volcanic- got a temple of silence. I got a volcanic salvo. I got this card who, uh, who, when she was first printed, was a rare and has since been downshifted to uncommon. I can't go good. Yo! Ooh. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, speaking of Garrick, I got a emblem. Oh, I was about to say, did you pull Garrick? I, I already pulled two Planeswalkers. A third one is just going to be icing on the cake. cake. Oh, that's right. You got Chandra. Yeah, I got an extended art Chandra. Which is very, very you nice. You got borderless Chandra. Extended yeah. art is when it just goes out to the sides. Yeah. Full art is the Chandra that you got. The Planeswalkers aren't available in extended art. Are they not? No, they're full art. They're full art borderless. Look at the one that I pulled. That? Yes, that is borderless full art. Ah, uh, I see. Uh, your Temple of Epiphany is extended art. I see. 
That is the fifth Chandra to go in my Omnath deck. Because I have her regulator. I got a demon token. Just imagine the new Chandra with um, Awakening, Awakened Inferno just both using their abilities twice a turn. Yeah, that's great. I'll kill them with this with my rare uh, Spark Hunter Masticor. Oh, cool. The one specifically designed to kill Planeswalkers? Yes. Fantastic. Warden of the Woods. Oh, that's a derpy looking tree folk. Alpine Huntmaster. Wow. This guy's a, a real that's dog dad. Yeah, he he goes and grabs two dogs. I can see that, and one of them keeps him warm. Igneous curd. Carrion grub. Oh. Oh. What? <laughs> oh. What? This is trade fodder for you. Is it Ugin? Oh. Yes, that's out of sight. <laughs> <laughs> do again? I'm reading it, you don't have to tell me. I don't remember. Uh, as if taunting me, my rare is Liliana's standard bearer. <laughs> fancy. No, if I get a second Ugin, we already talked about that earlier, where that one's absolutely up for trade. I love how the cat token is just a face. That I literally said that earlier. Oh, you... You were cutting out there for a second. What did you say? I literally pointed that out earlier. Ah. I'm I'm trying to pay attention to what we're both doing, but it's I'm trying to it's splitting my attention. I've gotten like four radiant fountains. Gloom sower. It's a horror. Which is cauldron? I'm down to, I'm down to five packs. Is Witch's Cauldron a reprint from Eldrain? No. Or no, that's Witch's Oven. It's Witch's Oven. Yeah. You're thinking Witch's Oven and Cauldron Familiar. You're, oh yeah, <laughs> combining those. Foil? Because that's Foil what you do. You, the Cauldron Familiar is the cat that you stick in the oven. Yeah. I got a Foil Bad Deal and I got Hooded Blightfang as my rare. We got See the Truth. That's my rare. Nice. Look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of those cards in your hand and the rest at the bottom of your library in any order. If this spell was cast from anywhere other than your hand, put each of those cards into your hand instead. Ooh. That's neat. Uh, Sanctum of Shattered Heights. I got the red one. Hunter's Illuminate. Gale Swooper. Goblin Wizardry. Oh, that's the one that makes the token. Yeah. Yeah, I hate him. Sure Strike. Pegasus. Lofty Denial. Neat. I have better counter spells than that. Um, Crypt Lurker. Neat. Oh, short Yo, sword. What'd you get? So, again. Um, yeah. I got a foil. Foil Keen Glide Master. And Pierrance Divas. Ooh, nice. I got one of those earlier. We have Archfiend's Vessel. Yo, I got Dismal Backwater. Ooh, I got a, I got a Mythic. Yeah? Discontinuity. Oh, nice. Oh, it's <laughs> end of the turn. That's funny. Those cards are real powerful if you know how to use them. Oh yeah, I like that uh, artifact you told me I should put in Valduk. Tap it, end the turn. Oh yeah, Sir Sunbine. Yeah. Then my, my tokens never go away. Real fun. Roman Ghost Light. I've been going through these a lot slower. I have like seven left 
from the box. Freaking flames, got Chandra's incinerator. Nice. With the Fenty. I got Battery's Acolyte with the cool Fenty, Fenty frame. Nice. I didn't know Rewind was getting reprinted. Yeah, I think a lot of people were excited over that one. So we got a normal planes, a uh, foil unsubstantiate, and we got uh, Garrick's Harbinger. I got two packs left. Got a zombie. Yeah. Yo! Nice. That's such a pretty card. Thieves Guild Enforcer. Oh, Deathbloom Phalad was reprinted. Malefic Scythe. Yeah, I just pulled one of those a minute ago. Oh, this should go in Volduk. I think. Maybe. Maybe. No, this should go in... It can't go in Baldur. Oh, that's right! Uh, that's going in um, Sir Gwen, then. <laughs> I didn't realize it, didn't I was, realize like, it was ahead. black. Go tell me why. Tell me how it should go in Baldur. <laughs> we got a Foil Mountain. And we got a Necromantia. What'd you get? Oh, it's my last pack. Yeah. I got Vodrick's I got thing. Yeah. I got lots of exams. Lugan? No, but it is a mythic. It's black. Is it Liliana? No. Grim Tutor. Nice! You wanted that, right? I super, super did. Necromancia is funny. You can just be like, you can just snag someone's card right out of their deck and be like, nah, you don't get that. That seems fun. It has Ghost Ogre energy. Not Ghost Ogre, Cherry Blossoms. You you know what I'm talking about from Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never played that game in my life. <laughs> It's not blasphemy to say that you've played other card games. I don't know what you're talking about. You taught me magic. And I know... I did teach you magic. Or sorry, you taught me Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never heard of... I'm saying this as my... My... Game Your playmat is Blue Eyes White, White Dragon. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that's all my packs. Ooh. Um, Joel, Joel Riel. One for what? She's the one that makes the cat tokens. Cool. One Wooly Recluse. That is yeah, a weird geez. word. That so that card isn't a reprint, but the character has shown up on a, a much, much older legendary card. Ah. I'm just gonna open up my fat pack and add this these packs to the stack. Oh, if I can get it open. I can't believe I got this, Uza. And a foil one at that. That's pretty dank. Oh, come on. See, it's hard to trade with you when you always have so many more packs. Because anything I could offer you you probably are already going to pull. Uh, I, t I take it it's going to be mainly the rares that I have a chance of not getting. Okay. So let's just beef up my stacks here. Yeah. And then I also have... Ooh! I get a foil pack leader in the fat pack. 
And of course, the fancy yeah. lands. Yeah, the pack leader and the ult folk should have the alternate art. And then, does one of these not have. Does this not have a code in it anywhere? Not that I know of. I thought there was a code for Arena in the fat pack. Yeah. Or, or is that in the pre release kit? That might be in the pre release kit. Yeah, the pre release kit. This dice is so pretty. It's like Nebula. That is gorgeous. Ugh. Add that fat pack to the stack. Ugh. So we'll set those aside. Okay. In. I gotta start chewing through these. I'm guessing I have just about every common and uncommon. And the foil for Azusa is about nine bucks. It's still a good card to use, right? Oh yeah. You don't need to get rid of it. Wall of Runes. I'm, I'm starting to really like the core sets, because they seem to, while they do focus on specific characters, they're from all across the multiverse. Well, this is, the, these last couple are kind of the first time that they really focused on characters. Yeah, because um, didn't M M19 focus on a certain plane, wasn't it, Dominaria? Yeah, focused on, on Dominaria. So that all the, uh, Elder Dragons. Okay, so Grim Tutor. Oh, no, I got Temple of Silence as my rare. Uh, Grim Tutor, the version I have is about about 16 bucks, 15 plus shipping, non foil, about 19 uh, with, or if it is foil, whereas the it's alternate art. Uh, it's about $22 non-foil and $220 foil. $220 foil? For the alternate art Grim Tutor, yes. Jeez. According to, um, Scryfall, or not Scryfall. Um, TCG player? TCG player, yeah. You'd probably get less for it if you just sold it, but still... But that's not the one that you have. You have a. F Do you have a have, four? No, my Grim Tutor is normal. Uh, non non foil. Ah, uh, fiery emancipation. Remember the discussion we had earlier about how your decks aren't fun. <laughs> I okay. I will trade it off. No, I'm. You don't have to. I know, but if I use it, people will hate playing against me. God, this whole debate is gorgeous. Isn't it, though? It's so good. And what's I'd... funny is, it's a rare, but the other, its other version isn't. Yeah. I thought that was interesting, how the alternate art had a different rarity. Makes sense. Yeah, I, I know I, I'm a big boy and I can run Fiery Emancipation if I want to, but I want people to enjoy playing with me. And I feel like if I have all of the uh, overpowered toys, people aren't going to want to do that. <laughs> um, Hellkite Punisher. Land is just a swamp. And we got Heroic Intervention. Yo! I'll trade you. Yeah? I'll set it aside then. We can talk about traits and stuff when we're not recording. Yeah, but if you if something sticks out to you, let me know and I can set it aside. So, so far you've set aside Lily and... Heroic Intervention. Heroic Intervention. Basri Emblem. That's a forest. Igneous Kurt. That was from the uh, other card art, right? The, uh... The dude that searches yeah, for that dogs? Yeah, that's one of the dogs that he grabs. 
That's the living campfire. Silent dart. It's like a, an Assassin's Creed weapon. Oh cool, that Liliana is only like seven bucks. Ah. Okay. That makes me feel better knowing that I'll probably have enough to trade you for. Transmogrify. Don't you have like three of those now? Yeah, I, have two, <laughs> I, I specifically have two foil ones and then this one. So I'm probably going to keep the, the normal one and trade off the foils. Ah, my token's not a token. Blossoming Sands. Opt. Igneous Kerr. Liliana Steward. Short Sword. Reign of Revelation. Rashing Brontodon. Traitorous Greed. And Pack Leader. A not foil, not alternate art Pack Leader. I prefer the alternate art. I'll hang on to that. Zambi. Mountain. Lofty Denial. Is that three Igneous Yeah, no, never mind. Yeah, he grabs the Igneous Cur and grabs the Alpine Watchdog. Yeah. Does he only grab specifically those two? Yes. Ah. So probably won't be running any of those in any uh, Commander decks. He, he's a two mana draw two. That's that's fair. Tefiri's Prodigy, uh, alternate border. Tefiri's white. Prodigy. Protege. Is that how you spell protege? Yes. Oh. <laughs> I'm an idiot. There's the there's the one one vanilla dog. Vio, Thorn of the Dusk Rose. Ooh. If he's up for trade, put him in the pile. He is. What does he do now? Oh yeah, I don't think there. I have any major life gain strategies that he can fit into. I do. He'll fit yeah. right in with our bat and his crew of legendary friends. Yeah. Did you get the? You said you got the white. Oh, you got the black and the white sinkers, right? Yes. Uh, I'll trade you for those also. Because they're shrines, and I run the other, I run the two pundit from Kamigawa that I can in uh, Arbat because they're legendary. Sanctum of Stone Fangs. Actually, I don't think I need the white one. The white one's bad. Okay. Well, I set aside the black one for you. Black one's good, thank you. Thornwood Falls. Defiant Strike. I <laughs> Me. Let's wait until after we're done recording to go through what we want for trades. Also, me. Uh, while we're while we're doing this, <laughs> guys, grab something to drink real quick. You do that. <laughs> ah. I <laughs> guess you also got a brush taunter. <laughs> You're not special. Just just on the record where he can't hear it, he's actually one of my best friends ever. And uh, he is very special to me. I'm I guess an adult man, that's why I grabbed a Capri Sun, anyway. Guess who got another, uh, their own brush taunter? <coughs> so stoked that I got one. Yeah, it's good. Oh, I want it for a Luna. Carrion Grub. 
tempered veteran. Another heroic intervention. And a foil lofty denial. Oh, there, no, you get a. Now I can trade you for one, and you have one. I'm. What does it do now? I might. It's good. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll hang on to that. That's going in my uh, share box. Ooh, this is a pretty token. A oh, weird. That's very pretty. Oh, I have a card that makes that. Too bad a weird isn't an elemental, even though it's really close to being one. Otherwise, I would actually care about that. Yeah, this is a card that desperately need or heroic intervention desperately needed a reprint because I think it was like twenty dollars on its first printing, and this one is like a little under five. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, I like the truffle snout pig. He's a good boy. He's so cute. It's my rare Liliana standard bearer. Oh, I got nice. him, but in the cool fancy border. Same, so he's super underwhelming. Are you kidding me? Yeah. I mean, I'm not kidding you, but yeah. Two and a black, three one, zombie knight with flash. When he enters the battlefield, draw X cards where X is the number of creatures that died this or that died under your control this turn. My zombie deck wants him. He might be good. Yeah, yeah, that should probably go in my. Uh... Um, Mario Bros deck, now that I think about it. Now that you bring that to my attention. As who? Huh? Who not, is he? Not every single card is themed, I'll just take out one of the other ones that isn't Also, despite having half that box, I didn't pull it. I didn't pull a single spined Megalodon. I pulled the red... Oh, you didn't. So that's... I did not. That's but... a trade. I just pulled the red sanctum, by the way. Nice. A spine, megalodon. There it is. What's the rare? Fury's Ageless Insight. Is that the third one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want unique things. I don't just want trade fodder. Granted, there is a guy on deck box that I still owe value to because my package got lost in the mail. Which is fun. The uh, guy that I got really close to getting Ghidorah from had said he was looking for Grim Tutors. Oh. Uh... I, I, I wouldn't have traded this to him though. That's the whole reason that I turned him down. Because I want Grim Tutor. Yeah. Oh, Leafkin Avenger. Yeah, he's Leafkin Druid, but mad. Oh, there's the green sanctum. Have I? I think I might have pulled every sanctum. Oh. You have the blue one. I don't remember. So I say I might have. Foil and Laurel Sage and another Transmogrify. The fourth one. Mmm. My packs are being mean to me by giving me doubles. I have four left. I uh, can't wait for Jumpstart. still recording. Yep, we're good. Wouldn't that be fun if it just stopped recording and we didn't realize it? No. <laughs> we got another flippin' heroic intervention. Are you joking? No! I wish I was, trust me. I don't want doubles. Ah. Fine, it's trade fodder. It's okay. Can't complain too much. Is 
the thrill of possibility. What's this rare? Ooh, Gadrak. The Crown Yo, Scourge. That's pretty cool. You need artifacts in order for it to attack. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that might be going in the Mario and Luigi deck, just because it fits in with the strategy. And there are dragons in Mario and Luigi. They're Mario. I have to set aside copies of all the dogs that I got for Lee. Oh, yeah. Getting gifts for your girlfriend, are you, chap? Mayhap. The flavor text for Cage Zombie. Six consecutive life sentences takes on a new meaning when necromancy is involved. <laughs> That's funny. And also a little bit messed up. Bring you back to life specifically to sit in jail. God, I wish Hellkite Punisher was good. Why? Because that's such an awesome name. Ah. Uh, but he's such a mediocre card. Be esteemed speaker is my rare. That's the fairy's daughter. Oh, is it? Oh. Yeah. Neat. Oh, good. Another not token for my last death. Oh, I thought you were about time. to say, oh, good. Another. <laughs> another, another rare. Heroic intervention. <sighs> Bro, this is giving me a lot of trade fodder, though. Oh yeah, there we go. Last Sanctum I, I needed. Foil, Crypt Lurker, and Azusa. But is she foil? No. Alright. There's all my packs. That and was, all mine. That was quite a bit. Oh, I can't wait to log all of these in the deck box. Going through here and setting aside all the doggos and cats and all the cute things for my girlfriend. Isn't that nice of you? that weird. Oh, cool. Uh, experimental Overload 2, blue, red. Create an XX, blue and red weird creature token, where X is the number of instant and sorcery cards in your graveyard. Then you may return an instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand, exile Experimental Overload. Yeah, so you can only do it once a game. Yeah, but it brings back a it's pretty neat. I might want that for, well, yeah, is that, I'll set it aside yeah. for you. cool. Do we want to? Do we want to end this video now? And then we'll yeah, go. yeah, and then we'll go over. So there trades. we go. A bunch of the cool stuff that we got. We got. I got foil to do that. There's, uh, there's M21 for ya. Recruiter. 
Did you get any? Oh, did you get any planeswalkers? No. And I got. <laughs> and I got three. Anyway. Yeah. You want to sign us off? Yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. This is a lot of fun. This is something that I really enjoy doing. So I hope everyone else enjoys it as much as I do. Uh, let us know what uh, your some of your best pulls were from this set, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Later.